On November 31, 2011, residents of Arcadia, Pasadena, Altadena, and Temple City awoke to find that 80 mile per hour Santa Ana winds had swept through the LA basin, downing power lines and causing property damage. Siji volunteers immediately launched relief efforts and set up close contact with American Red Cross and other community-based emergency relief organizations to assess the damage, conduct field evaluations, and provide services. Temple City sustained major damage from windstorms on the evening of November 30th and December 1st. Uh, at one point, we had about 75% of the city without power. The supplies have been wonderful. Uh, in fact, when the, the community found out that free blankets were being offered, and it has been cold, actually record-breaking temperatures for cold, uh, we had lines outside the door asking for the blankets. Stigi Foundation distributed over 2,000 eco-friendly blankets and flashlights and around 22,000 worth of food voucher checks to over 200 low-income households, as well as provided medical service and psychological consultations to those affected by the windstorm. Oh, this makes me feel a whole lot easier anyway, but it's a help, good help back. And uh, feels great, makes me feel a lot better anyway, a lot better. Such forms of local disaster relief are not isolated. Hi. Hey. Hi. Wow. Nice to see you. Huh? You guys are out here too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. We're waiting for you. <laughs> TV, wow. We don't know where you are. We're from Mexico. Earlier in the spring of 2011, relief efforts took place in San Bruno, California, with a similar partnership with local organizations to provide love and care to affected households. But not only does Tijia operate on the local scale, when tornadoes ravaged the South and Midwest in 2011, volunteers provided interstate relief in North Carolina, Georgia, Missouri, Arkansas, and Tennessee. April the 28th at 12.15 in the morning, you know, there's a tornado warning out. Upstairs, it lifted the roof and then set it back down. To have people like you here to give the support to someone like me, you know, it makes me wonder why, but I tell you what, it doesn't matter why. It's very easy to accept it because, you know, I lost everything, including my girl. After seeing people here, meeting people here, and you just get excited for helping other people. That's why we're here, I guess. That's why most of the people are here. Tsuji volunteers from Los Angeles, Minneapolis, Chicago, and Kansas City joined forces with local Tsuji volunteers to provide support for the victims of the disaster and other NGOs. Tsuji Foundation, whenever there is a disaster, follows the principles of directness, priority, practicality, timeliness, respect, and gratitude. Relief goods are given directly and with priority to those in the greatest need in a timely manner, providing them practical supplies while respecting the disaster victims and while being grateful for the opportunity to help. It's a philosophy gained through work on several international disasters. In October 2011, Central America was the site of severe flooding due to Tropical Depression 11E. Tsuji volunteers were immediately on the scene to conduct disaster assessment. People have stayed at the Matariko School for shelter. Although the rain has stopped, we still need clean water. It's gotten a little better but the people are still not able to work, so they aren't able to acquire supplies. Everything would be a lot easier if we could just get beans, corn, and some oil. The cries for help did not go unanswered. Local Tsuji volunteers quickly arrived to assess the situation and determine the best way to help these people. Usually, there are a few approaches that Siji uses for international disaster relief work. First, if there are local volunteers, they will approach the government or assess the situation personally at the scene. The other approach, for example, in Guatemala, we had one volunteer who started the movement locally. This is the most direct approach. This year, San Rosa was struck by many disasters and they really needed our help. We went to the mayor. He knew we did a lot of distribution work in San Rosa and trusted our integrity and honesty in helping them. So he would work with us to tell us which area are most in need of help and the situation there. 
we will head there to assess the situation. The findings from the assessment allow Tiji volunteers to pinpoint the disaster victims' actual needs and to distribute vouchers to the families hardest hit by the flooding. I want to thank God, thank Him for bringing you all here to help because we have suffered much from the flood. All of our things got soaked, even the place we slept got wet. That is why we are so thankful to God for bringing you guys, who have helped us so much. God bless you who have come from far away. Distributions were held in Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. The distribution site in El Salvador actually took place in the village that Tiji Foundation built for the victims of the major earthquake in 2001. Its residents have become volunteers themselves. When the village was completed in 2002, we were a community full of volunteers. Because of Tiji, they're able to help other people. It's a very difficult experience, but at the same time, it's good to help people who need a lot. Families have been trying to improve themselves in response to the help. We're looking towards the future to help even more people, to help more children, which helps the future because the children are the future of El Salvador and the future of our world. Tsuji volunteers believe in being the first to arrive and the last to leave a disaster site. In this way, efforts in Haiti had begun in 2010 and continue to this day. In Port-au-Prince, Tsuji volunteers have been working continuously to provide immediate mid-term and long-term relief to the survivors since the earthquake. They have distributed blankets, food, tarps, and tents, provided medical care, launched food for work programs, built temporary shelters, and are in the process promoting and growing a sustainable nutrition supplement and vocational opportunity known as the Moringa Tree, and rebuilding schools. In Tsuji, relief is always aimed with an eye towards the future. The experiences and discipline gained through international relief work are all lessons brought back home, allowing volunteers to be ready should disaster strike at our doorstep. So when floods and mudslides hit Silverado Canyon late December 2010, Sigi Foundation was able to quickly respond. It's been, it's been remarkable. It's a wonderful community and wonderful people. And, and here you are from downtown and it's, it's just, it's remarkable. Such gentle, sweet people. Love grows in the giving, and by mindfully and thoughtfully giving, Tsuji goes forward in its disaster relief work with the same principles of compassionate relief that it's founded on. With the spirit of sincerity, integrity, trust, and honesty, sowing the seeds of compassion and hope. We are family. When you're young and when you are old, we 
our family Wherever you will be We'll never be apart Together you and me Together Praying from our heart We are together Under the same sun